Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric and you're on S Motorsports. Today we're uh, going to be changing the steering shaft on the Trans Am as well as the lower support bushing uh, for the steering shaft column. So I, what I picked up was a uh, it's a what is it, upper steering bearing kit from Hawks. So it's got a couple pieces in here. It was a full kit. And really what this is, is it's changing the plastic bushing that's inside there to a metal bearing, um, which will be a lot tighter, or that's the hope. So it comes with all the pieces you need. It should be pretty straightforward, but we'll take a look a closer look at that. And then for the steering shaft upgrade, I bought this quite a while ago, but I bought it on eBay just from a guy. I, I searched Astro Van steering shaft, and this is already modified. So this is gonna replace the uh, rag joint on the one end. Um, this should be hopefully fairly straightforward as well. I do have to grind the one uh, shaft to get this bolt pass through since it goes in the upper half instead of through. Um, with with a Dremel, but um, that shouldn't be too bad. But I mean, otherwise it looks pretty good. It's all painted up, ready to go. Should be fairly straightforward. All right, let's get started. I was also going to show you um, before I started this the steering shaft. I changed my oil for the season. Um, I've been running this ever since I rebuilt my motor. Ams oil, 1040. It's got the high zinc which I need for the flat tap it cam. I've had pretty good luck with this. I mean, I think this is a pretty high quality oil. Um, it's synthetic. Um, it takes six quarts. All right, well, I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod and we'll start working. All right, with the intake out of the way, you can see this a little better. So we just gotta remove um, that bolt right there. And then that bolt right there in the steering shaft should pop out. So let's do that next. All right, I got the shaft out. I don't know why I struggled so much, but it's kind of coming out hard. This was catching on uh, the brake lines going to the master cylinder. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of bulked with this cover and stuff. It just didn't make it super easy. Um, I ended up bringing it up under, out underneath the car. That seemed like that was my only path. Hopefully the new one goes in a lot easier. As you can see, it's way smaller without this cover and right here especially. Now if we take a look at these side by side, you can see the old one was just a seal and it was just right in on the plastic in there. That obviously wore because there was slop in there. So the new one is the same plastic um, piece to hold it in place, but it's an actual bearing. I don't know. You can see the little ball bearings in there. Um, so this should hopefully last a lot longer. Um, and not develop that slop or play. As you guys can see, 
my bolt wants to come in from from this side which then if I would do that I would have to grind on the bottom of the shaft so I think what I'm gonna do is mark it um, and then uh, turn the wheel so I can grind it on the top side here so I have access otherwise that'd be way too hard to grind uh, on the bottom All right guys, so I got the uh, um, shaft all dremeled out for the new steering shaft. You can see where I dremeled away. Um, I'm kind of surprised, it, it really wasn't that much. I was expecting to have to do more, but um, yeah. So we're gonna slide the new shaft on now and tighten it, tighten the bolts down, make sure and put some Loctite on and, and we'll see how it feels. All right guys, we got it all wrapped up. So this is what the shaft looks like. Let me grab a flashlight. So if nothing else, it just looks way better. It's very compact where the other one was big and bulky. Um, so this one looks really good. Looks finished off just being a lot smaller. And we took away that um, rag joint. So that should help out. So let's jump in the car. See if I can tell a difference at all. All right. That is all the steering play there is. Before, I mean, I'm pulling pretty hard before the wheels would start turning. Keep in mind that I do have to rebuild the front steering um, tie rods and everything and center link. Um, those do have some wear but this should definitely help. So we'll hopefully get to go for a drive and, and uh, see if uh, I can tell any difference on the road. All right guys, that's it for today. Got the steering shaft installed. Uh, I think it should help tightening up the steering uh, so there's a little less play in it. But uh, until next time, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks guys.